Eczema is a skin condition that makes your skin itchy and flaky. It means you have sensitive skin and your skin needs extra special care. It may need gentler treatment than the average person. The main symptoms of eczema include intense itching, redness, small bumps, or skin that flakes off. Doctors don't know exactly what causes eczema, but it often happens in people who have allergies and asthma. Eczema can run in families too. Eczema can range from mild to moderate to very severe cases, which can have a big impact on patients' quality of life. The main thing I talk to my patients about is how to care for their skin. Taking shorter showers, not using hot water, using a soap for sensitive skin, and moisturizing frequently with a cream or an ointment rather than a lotion. Once you've done those basic things, if your eczema is still flaring up, the next step is topical steroids and topical calcineurin inhibitors. Both work by reducing inflammation and itching in the skin. Severe cases of eczema may need other medications or treatments that help calm down the immune system, including immunosuppressive drugs, biologics, or phototherapy. Eczema is a chronic condition. It tends to improve and then flare periodically. Some people flare in the winter when the air gets dry. Some people flare in the summer when heat and sweat can irritate their skin. Most people with atopic dermatitis, which is the most common kind of eczema, have their first symptoms as children. This can sometimes persist into adulthood and sometimes it resolves. Other kinds of eczema can show up at any age and may be related to your environment. Someone who starts taking a lot of hot showers or who starts using a stronger soap can get eczema just from these behaviors. There's no actual test to know if you have eczema. Dermatologists can tell by looking at your skin and by asking the right questions. When we examine a patient's skin, we'll often see redness and scaling, especially in places like the folds of your elbow or behind the knees or in the neck area. Sometimes we'll find dryness all over the body. Some patients are more prone to eczema if they're missing a certain protein in the skin, and they'll often have fish-like scales on their skin, especially on the lower legs. Another key part of dealing with eczema is managing itching without scratching. When you scratch, bacteria can get introduced into the skin and eczema can become infected. Sometimes we add things like bleach baths and antibacterial soaps into an eczema regimen to prevent those infections. 